hello guys uh, as I said be previously we have created a we are get the invite code and we have created the login so let's try to log in so yeah this is my previous mail so uh, right so here I need to save it for the further purposes so here you can see what other things you need to know as I said uh, there are some yeah this is the information about the players who are playing okay then okay finally you can go through this one when you are leisure time so here the access what we see is we can need to download the VPN here so I'm just download the VPN here yeah it's uh, okay and after you download it uh, okay I just cut it and I uh, just create a folder here yeah so here I paste here so how to connect the VPN is just open the terminal and uh, type the ls command uh, yeah okay the file is available then uh, open vpn and uh, the file name right so you can see the thing is is running and uh, this will be created right okay after initializing the thing the thing is uh, you can access the connections they are server connections you try to refresh this page here it was notified this is not connected but yeah still it's loading I think Okay, I'll just retry this one. okay it's now peer connection is initiated so after initiated you can try to refresh the thing and see whether it's connected or not connected yeah it's now connected right so here you can see the challenges and as I said before I'm going to the reversing challenge and the very low point challenge as a snake right so yeah fine here they are saying the, read the instructions carefully flag should be in the format htb at the box username call and password and you can download a zip file so I am going to download the zip file yeah okay uh, before do that one I just to create the thing in my folder so the reverse challenges uh, what's my folder yeah okay fine the new folder right and snake right fine so in the thing I got the zip file so I just click and drag it here so here you can see the password is hack the box zip password is hack the box so I'm copy this one and I am going to extract it manually or else you can use the uh, command prompt in order to extract the thing uh, fine which is easy so according to your 
availability you can extract the thing right so make sure the thing is uh, everything you you are doing by yourself right this is a kind of instruction uh, that means uh, this video is for my documentation that means it may help me to recall what I did previously so it's a py file so python file so i just open in a text editor and you can see a text file yeah okay anyhow it's a text file and you can see it start with uh, the snake and you can see some hexa values and some array declarations and for loops i've been here and they're asking the username and the password so anyhow this needs to be initiated because this will be ensure that your connectivity so minimize this one and open a terminal here and the thing is if you are lazy to run the python phyghon python snake py right py and it will ask the username and the password but we don't know the username so i just cancel the thing but the thing is as i i need to say if you are lazy to run the python script by typing the python in front of the thing just change mode uh, a plus x and you now I think you can able to run thing here so if you change the mode you can dot slash and run the file so as we all know here it's asking a username and in the text file also we can see it's asking enter your username and here is the if condition is validating the slither the slither is a variable here and it's appending some other variables which are carrying the hex R values so what the thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open a new browser and hex to ASCII converter here is the online tool is available so first thing is a, a just I just I'm just copying 61 right and db dbs we are dbs here so i'm copying it and n n n n and e f r r where is r r anything in that really needs to be here right yeah rr 6f gh uh, lr ty where is ty this one right so if you can what thing is the username is anaconda so yes i just copy the thing right i just need to copy the thing i'm just opening a g edit which is a text editor in the kali now it's already open i just open a new thing so the username is we found it as anaconda the thing is here we are wasting much time right by manually searching all the things but the one thing is the good idea we can set is just type a username here i'm just commenting username right because i am editing this one so um, here i just print uh, is better to use single code yeah fine use the name equal to class so 
SLI sorry is plus SLI DH ER am I correct? let's check it fine so I save the thing and I'm going to run it here you can see you will get the username as Anaconda without manually setting all the things if you go through the program you will get an idea because this variable is needs to satisfy with what the user input so no need to go manually but go through the program is very much important because we are you are wasting much time when uh, doing the testing so time efficiency isn't much thing when you're doing a uh, pen testing right here they can check the chains and keys and passwords are look like uh, hexa so anything yeah we have need to be very keen on things whether we can able to collect the informations here so here I'm pasting the thing uh, this is a troll actually this is no need actually in our case this is not a much important text so keys so keys is something important because if you find thing you can use you can see the for loop is running on the keys right so it's something important keys so let's check what's the ASCII value for this one password alright okay this may be looking something weird right so it's saying it's as a password this one so let's okay let's try to run this one uh, is a n a c o n d a and the password is this one the password wrong try harder because uh, we are not assured thing right we, 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 we need to substitute anything and check whether they are working or not so this is not working because uh, anyhow it's a, it's a challenge right they won't directly provide the password so here there is a lock pink lock pick yeah lock pick random and random integer value they're getting it and it's multiplied by two and there's a lock value and here they are password array so what's this one so it's not that easy that's as I know right not me but you also know when you should try these things by yourself so let's check why the passwords are using is actually this password 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 so this password is not a much thing right here they are not using it much only for say this this is not easy okay fine anyhow and lock here they are yeah it's a integer i think yeah they are adding plus 10 and uh, then they are dividing the lock and what's auth here okay let's check what is this one is fine keep trying yeah i am keep trying this thing then lock is equal to lock minus lock pick so actually we are not sure about this random value right so then here the snake created by this one and the number is this one is anyhow this is printing here so what's the thing is they are extracting by for each loop is a kind of for each so one by one they are they are the means a uh, they are exponenting the lock in and keys right yeah lock to the power key and char append string keys encrypted so the thing is uh, just the value we need to know is what is encrypted in the charts right so let's print the thing uh, uh, okay so what's the thing I can do yeah I need to mention that this is my my command print uh,
key encrypt equal to a string and sorry string and this one then print charts right because it's appending the charts so I need to know what's this one charts is equal to plus a string sorry again yeah all right so then uh, it's chain is change where is the chain yeah chain is this is a troll right so this is a troll means actually this contain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so it's contain 15 right and this is contain I think it's 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it's contain 10 characters right because I need to know what's the character because they are arrays right okay for chain and they are encrypted this one by yeah okay they are adding this one so as usual I'm just going to print the thing here as well so the thing is I need to change is change encrypted and the charts is fine right so okay let's run the program and see if there are any changes and if there are any values we can be able to get yeah fine there are some values prompting right as what we print here okay I just uh, make it here in order to see fine so the first print is here we type this encryption is 36 and the char is uh, 1700 and this kind of things and yeah the new things 126 and those things are added here right yeah Yeah, up to 36 and it started 126 and 114 15 again by appending this uh, charts append command uh, we are appending the thing from the troll right yeah this is the troll this one so it's anyhow we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to this one is 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 up to this one is 15 so finally the charts we got is in number of 15 but the thing is the keys is in on 10 and the password is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so it's on 17 I'm not sure but okay just keep it in a rough sketch idea it's fine right okay up to this one we got the value is a uh, charge right fine and we find the username as well then we need to find the password right password is okay enter your password and uh, this is from the pass input that means if you enter 10 characters this follow will be run 10 times and yeah each character is extracted in and it's assigned to the variable pass and it's comparing with the chars the chars is here what we got is 10 plus 15 right 10 plus yeah 15 totally 25 loops going to run here so if it's one is passed it will prompt a good job right nothing else and it will break can you see the thing if first letter is satisfied then it will print a good job and break the thing so you can be assured what is the actual key just make it no because it's a break statement if it's good job and it will again run for loop for loop for loop for loop right fine 
okay then uh, the thing is we are going we need to find the password here so the thing is here the four char in chars we need to find the thing because this thing is going to consider this area so as usual the username is here so I'm just putting a new tab here and I try to make it the password as well here right actually this is no need so here the password is okay the password is before this one I need a follow that follow needs to run here in chars right the password is this one am I correct yeah let's check okay then run the thing Give me a minute password U D ya it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, okay right. Actually here the thing is I no need to print this password, right? Yeah the thing is I need to say it here. <laughs> Something right. It's fine. Okay, let's run this one again okay the password you can see is uh, this one right so what will happen if you give this is anaconda is the username right anaconda is the username sorry uh, so I just copy it paste it and what will happen if I press U and enter it's a good job actually this is the amount you got as a password right this authentication required is yeah yeah it's from the end of the line so I just put a new tab here right fine new line okay here the thing is as I said this uh, follow actually is focusing on a single point and it will break if it's satisfied the first character make it sure but you know the first letter you will get a message as good job but the thing is you don't know the actual uh, character wrong the actual thing is you can be verified that by applying to the hack the box here right here you can see the flag tag is in the format HTB username colon and the password right so the thing is as I mentioned the password which is the key right which is the key is carrying out how many characters is key is just uh, 10 characters right so make it sure this what's the amount we get it as an output 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 so totally this number of outputs we got in the array so the password is this much but the key is this much the key is the first 10 characters so first 10 characters is this right so I just copy it and I make it here key equal this much is there are spaces yeah okay I can reduce the spaces here right 
किया पासवर्ड इज इक्वल टू दिस मच ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स इज एक्चुअली ट्वेंटी फाइव कैरेक्टर्स राइट द फ्लैग व्हाट वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग is according to the requirement is the flag needs to be this format htb and the username is anaconda and this as the password right this is the exact flag what they are expecting on us so here you can paste the thing and make sure you need to say a comment what about what 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 you are actually uh, what you actual feeling when you are playing this a piece of cake for you very easy easy not easy so in my case is anyhow easy because i am a student so i tried many 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 times and i found this way right but make sure again i'm saying this is just go through the code first in order to get a clear understanding just go and pick and translate these things is a no use because actually for the first case username is just a simple one print command can get the username or else you waste your time one by one by one entering into the converter and see the values so let's apply and check what the thing is yeah good i uh, correct flag fine the thing is here you can see your progress here right so we do your profile and uh, you can see that your uh, progress is little bit increase from before right it's from it's a small one now after completed this one you will get this much of results right so i think uh, i'll meet you in the next video as soon as possible and just try it on yourself because trying it yourself and getting your own idea is much much important without looking the videos and get the things to be done you can see the videos and the work through but the thing is you need to understand it clearly then that's the intention of the walk through walk throughs are the things that means they are make providing the ideas how you need to think so you need you see the walk through and the second time when you are playing this one you need to play with your own idea what that idea you need to you you got from the walk throughs so again i'm saying this is my own documentation if i made some mistakes just make it simple because i'm just creating this documentation for my further usage in order to um, that means i if, if a chance i need to recall the thing and i need to if i if i need to explain the reverse engineering part i can use this kind of examples in my in my documentations so make it sure i'm just allowing as i am pub posting publicly you can use of this one but make sure again i'm saying use your own knowledge first if you can't then see the hints and make a way to complete the levels okay bye guys